Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fayetteville, Tennessee, with the private patriot as he attempts to film inside the courthouse. But he is, well... Uh, escorted out of the building and he intends to file a federal lawsuit because his civil rights were violated or so he claims but you know what these auditors kind of claim all sorts of things but the, rarely does it ever pan out at all because you know what they're pretty much uneducated morons so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show hey guys this is private patriot back again we are here at the Fayetteville, Tennessee courthouse. This building is nice. Sits up here on the square here in Fayetteville, Tennessee. So we're gonna walk in, exercise our first amendment right. See how they treat us in here. All right. All right, let's see. No weapons, yeah, we know that. No cell phones, cameras, any kind, permitted in courtrooms. Yeah, we know that too. It's a nice looking building. As you guys can see, it's a beautiful looking, what do they call that, a gazebo, I guess? Not exactly sure. But let's walk in here and uh, Oh boy, look at all those signs that say no cell phones, dude. And I'm sure that you're well aware that a uh, courthouse is a non-public forum, which basically means they have total control of it inside that courthouse. So yeah, a judge can give an order to, to say that no filming is allowed in there, but you know what, I think you're just gonna ignore that anyway, so let's continue on. Yeah, I'm coming in to film the building. I'm coming in to film the building. Okay. Sir? I'm coming in to film the building. Cell phone, no. kind of big metal. This is all I got. Just my camera. I have to put it in here. Okay. All right, appreciate it. All right, guys. This is the Fayetteville courthouse here. A little longer than a few minutes later. Office. Let's check this out. Mm -mm, what? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're a public servant. You work here? Yes. No, uh, you're in public. You can be filmed. Do these public servants that you put down all the time, well, if you don't treat them with respect, then you might not get anything out of them. In fact, that's happened quite a few times. Maybe you should try being a lot more courteous, and maybe you frauditors will actually get somewhere in life. I'm just getting video and uh, pictures. You guys doing all right today? Uh, even better, doing good. You guys have a nice building. All right, guys, you guys come down here and get some artwork. Really nice. All right, this is the register building right here. You guys can see right there. Appreciate your time. What's that? I'm a YouTuber. I'm an independent journalist. Yes, sir. 
You are no journalist. A journalist does not go into a place to create the story. They go in there to report a story. And so far, all you frauditors ever do is create the drama when you go into a place. So you might want to make like a tree and leave before the cops get there and escort you out. Oh wait, that is the ending of this video. So let's continue on, shall we? Look on YouTube, you'll find me. Huh? Private Patriot. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm just filming and getting some video. So do you have some ID on you? Excuse me? I said, do you have some ID on you? How about you private, back the hell up? I, how about patriot. you back the hell up off me? How about that? I'm off you. I haven't touched you. Get away from me. Do you have some ID on you? Yeah, it's called the First Amendment. Learn, yes, your, learn your shit. Sorry, dude, but you really need to learn your stuff. Freedom of the press does not mean that you have the absolute right to go anywhere you damn well please. No, that basically means that you can print your stories without interference from the government. Learn your damn history before you open your spy hole, you dumbass. Do you have some ID on you? Look, I'm going to tell you again, get the hell out of my face. You all need to call your security. You better come get board. this dude. Okay. I'm telling you, do you have some ID on you? Yeah, it's called the First Amendment, buddy. Learn the law. You're in, oh. you're in public, buddy. You tell me all day long, Mr. Karen. I Excuse just me. ask if you had some ID on it's you. It's the First Amendment, I buddy. I understand what it is. All right, move. Excuse me, I'm talking to this gentleman. I'll move. Move. Say please. Yeah. Please. Karen 101 right here, guys. We're going to make you famous. Check YouTube there, buddy. I've been famous before. Oh, we definitely going to make you famous again, Mr. Karen. Oh, boy, I love the way that man treated that frauditor. Guys, say please. Yeah, frauditor, you gotta learn some manners. Just like I said earlier, learn some manners and you may get somewhere in life. But at any rate, guys, this video is almost an hour long. And I'm not gonna keep you around here for that long, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the next segment where he goes to the second floor, and that's where some of the uh, drama starts because, you know, you're not supposed to be recording up there. Five minutes later. See on the floor here. Is there help you? I'm taking pictures of the building. Can I help you? Uh, actually, this uh, cell phone turned out on this floor of the courthouse. It's General Sessions Clerk Office. Yes, sir, but it's supposed to look the building. The cell phone's not on the second floor. I can film in the office. I can't film in the courtroom, sir. Uh, it's on the second floor, period, including the courtrooms and the office. I can't film in the courtrooms. I can film in the offices. Can't film in the courtrooms. No, sir. It's posted all over this building. You cannot have a phone on this floor of the courthouse, period. That Especially is, filming. That is policy. That's not law. You know, dude, stop arguing with this officer right here. He didn't make the policy. In fact, I suggest you go talk to the judge. He's the one that created the policy for that floor. So you know what? Go talk to him. Go up the chain of command rather than dealing with the people who can't do anything about it. And then you'll, you may get somewhere, but I seriously doubt it because, you know, there is a reason for these policies, and it's not because they're a bunch of corrupt people like you think they are. Because, you know, it might have something to do with attorney-client privilege. After all, this is a courthouse. Or how about victims' rights or anything else like that? Did your tiny little frauditor brain ever come up with that uh, solution? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, it's this courthouse's policy. If you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> and if I refuse to leave? 
be careful because I'm going to tell you, if you violate my First Amendment rights, mm -hmm. I'm going to name you in a federal lawsuit, okay? You don't know who you're messing with, okay? I know where I can film. So if you want to... No, sir, you cannot film, turn it off, and leave. You cannot have a phone. I can go and see the phone up here on the second floor. There's a sign in there that says the same thing. It cannot even be up here, much less recording. Come on, I'll show you where the sign is. Is that policy or law? It's law. Come on. What's your name and badge number? Come on. Let's go. Let's go get in the elevator. Don't tell me to get in the damn elevator. I'm telling you where to go. Now come on downstairs. I'll show you the sign. Go ahead and violate my rights. Go ahead and know how to read. Go ahead and violate my rights. You know how to read. Okay, I'm boss, you, what, is your what is your badge number? 544. All right. I wish to God you violate my rights. Please. Violate your rights how? Please. How? That is a policy. I was going to the clerk office. You can't have phones upstairs. Oh, whatever. And you definitely can't record in the clerk's office. Yeah, There's I can. a sign up there, too. Yeah, I can. So, well, so y'all are, show you the are sign. so uneducated. Just come on, I'll show you the sign. You're calling them uneducated. You who do not actually understand the First Amendment nor the history behind it, calling them uneducated. Dude, like I said before, go learn what pre freedom of the press actually meant for the uh, founding fathers, and then you will understand what the First Amendment is all about, dumbass. So uneducated. Uneducated. Guys, do you not know how to read? <laughs> we gonna make you famous. Do you boss. not know how to read? Y'all see this, guys? Who's your guys? Oh, you don't know. Like I said, you don't know who I am. Okay, yeah, I don't. Yeah, but you're going to. But I know you're not gonna record up there. But you're going to. Okay. Boy, y'all are some dumb tyrants. I swear. This is a tyrant right here, fellas. Tyrant? Do you even know what a tyrant is? Yeah, you. What? What's tyrant? You look like a damn G.I. Joe wannabe. What's the definition? You look like a damn G.I. Joe wannabe. Are you a veteran? You know the are you a veteran? I am a veteran. Are you? Yeah. Well, you need to start acting like one. Yeah, whatever. Well, if you can't define the word tyrant, dude, then I guess you don't know what the word tyrant actually means. So, what you need to do is go learn it, go read it in a dictionary somewhere, instead of throwing it around like it's just... Well, just completely meaningless. It does have a literal meaning and, well, let me tell you something. There are no real tyrants in this country. You need to go to some other country and learn what a true tyrant is. Many, many minutes later. <sighs> What's your name and badge number? Christmas time, 42. One. Come on, sir. 514. Call your bosses. I'm going to share this apartment. You'll be filing a complaint. Well, that's me. That's why I'm going to talk to you. What's up? Your, your officers are assholes. Okay, to be honest. Uh -huh. They didn't identify who I am. I'm a First Amendment auditor. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? And does this make you special? Do you get special privileges for being a First Amendment auditor, which is just a made-up title to make idiots like you feel like they're big and bad and entitled to everything that the world has to offer them when the world owes them nothing? I mean, get over yourself, dude. The two officers upstairs violated my civil rights, so I'm thinking about filing a federal lawsuit, okay? I can go in the clerk's office on the second floor. Let me give you a chance to tell you who I am. Well, my goodness, dude. Here you are making yourself look like a complete uneducated buffoon when you were just a few minutes ago accusing everybody else in that courthouse of being uneducated. You don't even know what civil rights are, do you? None of your civil rights were violated. Were you uh, discriminated against because of your race, religion, creed, the gender, uh, political affiliation, uh, what? I mean, was it one of those? I think not, dude. So therefore, your civil rights were not violated, you pile of uneducated trash. Therefore, you don't say that and give you my name. Right? All right, what is your name? My name is Lieutenant John McDonald on 503. Okay, so why is your officers upstairs 
door. Why is your officers upstairs kicking me out? With the camera? Right. I can go in the clerk's office. I know my rights. I cannot film in the courthouse. Okay? Pushed me out of the second floor and told me I wasn't allowed in the clerk's office. Okay? That is a policy that does not trump my First Amendment right. I am a YouTuber. Okay? I've got thousands of followers. Oh boy, give a narcissist a uh, following and you have a cult leader on your hands. This guy has gotten way too big for his britches and he thinks he's king of the world and that he's something special. I mean, that is at the core of it. I mean, dude, I have about 9,000 subscribers. That doesn't make me any more special than you do, dude. I mean, get your head out of your damn ass and... Well, actually, you won't be able to do that because your head is so damn overinflated, it would be impossible to pull out. So you'll have that shitty outlook on life for the rest of your existence. Well, at any rate, guys, I am just going to cut the video right here because he gets nowhere with this officer because, you know what, this officer doesn't really care about his YouTube subscribers or anything like that. He's just more concerned about the security of the courthouse, and rightfully so. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.